It looked like a doll. It smells like a doll. But they say it's more than a doll. I'm talking about the new lunar recording system from Universal Audio. Let's check it out. What's up, YouTube? It is Wavy Wayne here, man. And if you can't tell, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I've been waiting since January for this thing to drop, man. Oh, man. I'm like, I feel like, I feel like Pookie. <laughs> Hit the like button if you feel like Pookie. <laughs> if you already downloaded Luna, man, smash that like button. I'm going to be bringing y'all some of the most exclusive Luna tutorials. So you might as well subscribe right here at Wayne.Wave. All right, now. Luna. What is Luna? Luna is a new recording system, aka a digital audio workstation, but Universal Audio says that it's way more than that, man, and I kind of believe them. Um, <laughs> and it, it, with some of these features that they have announced, man, it just seems so exciting, and I, I really can't wait to jump into it. Luna is completely free. <laughs> That's the best part, right? Luna is completely free for anybody who already owns an Apollo interface. So um, you can just head over to Universal Audio's website, download Luna, up, log in, and start using that thing, man. <laughs> Luna is a full music production application that integrates very nicely with your Apollo interface. You won't even need to use the console app anymore. So for all your Unison preamps and all the other uh, plugins that you use to process your signal before you recording, you can do all of that in Luna. So no longer will you need two DAWs open or two windows open where you are um, looking at the console app in one and then you got Pro Tools in the other one or Logic or whatever. You don't have to do that anymore, man. <laughs> That sucks because I just bought a new second monitor just for that. <laughs> Luna also introduces ARM, which is accelerated real-time monitoring, which basically means that you can use your Universal Audio plugins with almost zero latency even while you're tracking. Wow. Oh, man, I can't wait to throw a bunch of LA-2As on the track and see how it works. Let's just go to Universal Audio's website real quick and check out the Luna page so we can just get an overview of these features, all right? So... Let's bring this on into view. The Luna recording system. I love this, man. They are really hyping this thing up. And I seen, I, I guess I am too. Analog sound at the speed of light. Luna transforms the Apollo interfaces into the most inspiring and fully integrated Mac-based recording system on the planet. That's right. Um, Luna is only available on Mac. So all you PC users, I'm sorry, baby. No, not really, because this don't affect me. I'm on a Mac because I'm a Mac and I'm a Mac, all right? <laughs> and uh, hopefully they will bring this to iPad. Hopefully that is the thing, right? If Luna can go over to the iPad, uh, which I know it can, because back in January when I was at NAMM, I actually talked with one of the uh, main designers and creators of Luna, and basically it is developed to be multi-platform. So hopefully one day in the near future, we will see Luna come to something like an iPad. Apollo, man, you can have deep Apollo integration. It's just going to have a quick, fast workflow. So again, you won't need to have your uh, console app open anymore whenever you're using Luna. You can just use all of your Unison technology right there in Luna itself. So dope, so dope. Instant classic console sound. You get built-in Neve Summon. I almost spent that $4,000 on the Neve Summon app, uh, but I'm going to have to see about this. Now, there are some of these features like the Neve Summon and the Studer, right, that are not free in the mode, right? But I think once you download this, it's like $550 right now, the sale. Uh, but normally, it's going to be 700 bucks to get a complete production package i'm not sure exactly what they call it but it's like a complete production package that includes the neve summing uh the studer tape machine and um and the moog all right now with the neve and the studer right uh these are tightly integrated as well they are not plugins they're actually uh extensions of the luna DAW. so you won't have to have another plug-in window open or anything like that to use the uh, studer tape or the uh, neve there is, though, however, a free tape 
emulation built in already, but the Studer will be an additional one. I think the free one is called Oxide. For all of my producers out there, um, Luna also brings some of the highest quality um, emulations of virtual instruments using the the Moog. It's the most realist emulation of a mini Moog there is. All right, the first recording platform with deep Apollo integration. Yada yada yada. We can use all of our DSP plugins with no discernible latency as well as offering new accelerated real-time monitoring, which provides analog style tracking and overdubbing workflows. Oh man, let's just go, let's go. Oh, she's so pretty. So these are some of the extensions that I was talking about, right? So far beyond plugins, Luna extensions are built into the fabric of Luna's mixer, giving you authentic analog sounds without having to manage multiple plugin windows. So Luna also introduces some new virtual instruments, man. Uh, we've got the Revel, which is a piano virtual instrument. It's basically a Steinway that was recorded at Ocean Way Studios. Um, and now you got that full sound right here in a uh, low latency virtual instrument, man. We got the Mini Moog, which is gonna be the most accurate emulation of a Moog that you can have. Um, and then shape shape is actually one of the free included virtual instruments that will have a uh, drum machine synthesizers. This thing is, has pretty much everything. I, it kind of reminds me of the expand virtual instrument that again, pretty much has everything that you could use. And then uh, spitfire audio. This is going to be a symphonic strings, woodwinds, brass, all this stuff. Um, some very cool, high quality virtual instrument sounds. I can't wait to see what those sound like as well. All right. So we already talked about uh, the accelerated real time monitoring, aka ARM. Uh, but basically, again, that's that thing is just going to make sure that you have the lowest latency possible when you are recording um, into Luna real time UAD processing. And here are some of the most amazing features that I think uh, are are does just look at these additional features. So for one session, auto save command S out the window with Luna. You don't have to do that, but you think I ain't gonna hit command S after every time I move something? You damn sure right I will, because am I gonna trust Luna? I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, having auto save is cool. That way you don't have to worry about losing your sessions no matter what, right? Persistent undo, now this is a huge one. With the persistent undo, you can actually undo and redo changes even after you've closed and opened the session. So I can close the session, work on something else, or reopen it, come back and still do undo, redo. Mm, primo, Pro Tools, y'all need to add that, man. Contextual editing and browsing. Now this is the feature that I feel like will actually help Luna uh, transfer very easily into like an iPad situation because there are no real editing tools in Luna. It's all gonna be based on where you position your cursor, kind of like the smart tool in Pro Tools. Luna integrates uh, switching tools and viewing modes for less menu diving uh, during the creative process. So um, uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. You can also import sessions from Pro Tools directly into Luna. So if you already started something in, in Pro Tools, maybe you like editing in Pro Tools, you can edit in Pro Tools and then using an AAF export from Pro Tools, you can then import that AAF over into the Luna doll so that you can do your mixing over there. You can run audio units plugins. So any virgin, any uh, plugins that you have, they'll already work with Luna without having to, you know, swap out everything and only use UAD. Don't worry about that. All your waves and stuff like that is going to still work. And you get an unlimited track count <laughs> because we need tracks on tracks. So if you haven't downloaded Luna yet, go ahead and uh, download it. And again, if y'all don't know where I got this t-shirt from, man, I was at NAMM over in January um, out in LA and uh, that's how I got hooked up with this swag. All right, so let's get this out the way and check out Luna. When you first open Luna, this is what you will see. Um, over on the left side, this is called the sidebar in Luna where you can create a session and this is the part that's open by default. So you can see right here in this little pane, this is where you would either create a new session, you can name it, or like I was telling y'all just a second ago, you could choose to import from an AAF. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, you can set the tempo and all of that here and choose where you wanna save it. Or you can even choose from a recent session if you already had some, uh, something going on in Luna. 
The Discover tab is basically where you will go and browse all new stuff, um, new releases, and find new offers and buy some more plugins. Basically, is what you're gonna do there. <laughs> The Manage tab, this is where you will manage your uh, current Luna software. So whatever plugins and, and extensions that you are using with Luna, this is where you can download and, and uh, use those. You can even uh, change the settings and stuff like that. They got, okay, little demos. Okay, delete more info. You can do all that right here in the manage section and then the settings this is where you set all the settings now this looks very similar to the settings uh pane in the console app but they've moved it over here because again when you're using luna you don't need to use the console app as well so um yeah without any further ado let's create our first luna session so let's just call this day one day one with luna and we don't need to worry about tempo i love that they got the tap tempo feature right here before you even start the session so that if you are going to be uh you know producing or whatever you could easily tap that tempo whatever you feeling um choose a location i'll save that there for now and then go ahead and hit create all right so when luna opens here is my main workspace all right the main workspaces in luna consist of two main parts you got the uh timeline view and then you also got your mixer view which we'll get to in a second all right um when you're in here if you need to get back to that side panel for any reason you can just click on this little diamond and it'll drop that uh little side uh bar it'll bring the sidebar back so that you can create sessions or manage any of your plugins and settings and things like that all right there are four main parts to this session window. Uh, one of the first features that we'll look at will be the focus browser. The focus browser is this section on the left side of the Luna DAW, um, and it basically allows you to, as you see here, you can create tracks. So by default, it automatically knows, hey, you just opened up a new session, you probably need to create a track. So um, you can choose to create a track, you can choose what type of track, how many of them, the format, all of that stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and, and create a track for now, okay? I'm just gonna hit okay. Boom, and here's my first track. I can double click on that track and rename it. Let's just name it Wavy. <laughs> All right, bet. So that is the first track that we just created in Luna, dope. The next part that we'll look at will be the control bar. Uh, the control bar allows you to change the different views, right? Um, so you got the timeline display you got your mixer display over here and you can show and hide these other window views like that the tracks view if you wanted to see that again um yeah so that is the view selector over there you got your bpm where you can automatically set your beats per minute here in luna you got the counters up here and of course you have this big uh tape machine style transport that allows you to stop play fast forward rewind do your looping and all that um, you have this little selector option where you can make and edit your selections and you have some global controls over here uh like a global solo and mute you have so how's this uh, monitor section and this workflow now this workflow control allows you to choose between some different workflows which i i see and that's pretty cool you can toggle a recording workflow. It'll just bring uh, up different options and quick little uh, selection options that you may need to use depending on the workflow. So if you're recording, you can choose this one and you may need to set the pre and post roll or toggle the click on and off or stuff like that. Uh, what's this one? That's the MIDI workflow. So if you producing, you can use that one. This is gonna be the edit workflow. You can use this while editing to you know basically access all of these commonly used editing commands. And then we have the, what's this last one? The mixing workflow? Cool. All right. You see that, okay? It's got the basic stuff that you're going to need while you're working on these different parts of your session. Okay. Over to the right side of your Luna window, you have the monitor section. You can see your main monitor output levels here, and you can set your monitoring level as well here, and you can even set up your Q sends. Okay. Uh, the ruler view is up here at the top, so you can see all of the necessary rulers. You got your loop ruler, bars and beads. That's one that I uh, figure cannot be hidden. You got the minutes and seconds ruler, tempo, and all of that to change, uh, to show or hide more or less rulers. 
rulers all you gotta do is click on these little three dots right here and it'll pop up this little ruler settings you can choose which rulers you want to see or don't want to see and then just x that out when you're done down at the bottom you have your clocking uh options and system meters down here so you can see how much of the dsp that you're using you can set the sample rate um apparently luna allows you to work at multiple work with files that have multiple different sample rates all in one session so this sample rate setting down here determines what sample rate new audio will be recorded at and what sample rate existing audio will be processed at um, and you can change that anytime throughout your session so let's say for some reason i wanted to record something at 44.1 then later i wanted to change and record stuff at 48 kilohertz all within the same session i can do that without any problems in luna that's cool. So before we leave this window, let's just talk about scrolling a little bit. Obviously, if I had a bunch of different tracks, let's just go ahead over here and make some uh, new tracks. Uh, let's make some audio tracks. So let's make 15 audio tracks. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So then we fill up this window. Cool. So now uh, we got the tracks list over here to the left. And over here we got my edit now obviously you can scroll up and down very easily just by using the scroll wheel on your mouse here or you can go over and grab this little scroll bar or you can come down and grab this one here one feature that i love about luna right now is that a lot of the pro tool shortcuts automatically work so for zooming in and out you could just use t and r or control in the brackets like you would use in a pro Tools session um, for resizing your tracks you could do this the same way um, for all of them just hold control option and use the up and down arrow keys very easily or if i just wanted to resize the one obviously i would just hold control um whoop, whatever track i have selected uh, it seemed like i got some mission control stuff going on right there um but to resize the tracks you can also go and resize them right here at the bottom like that and this little button right here allows you to also resize the track heights globally pretty nifty let's go over now to our mixer view and again to get over here we're just going to use another pro Tools shortcut command equal right and we can use this to toggle between these two views that way you can get back and forth as fast as possible or if you just want to be slow about it you can go up here and click on this little view selector to show and hide the different views <laughs> All right, so here's our mixer view. At the top of the mixer view, we got our meter bridge. So this will give you basically the metering information of each track. You can easily jump or, to, or scroll to a track by using this very nice feature. When you are in this view, let's say take a look here so if I wanted to do some recording, I could just go right onto the input of this track. And when I do that, it'll open up my focus browser. When you click on the input selector, it'll open up the focus browser on the left here. You can choose what input you want. So since my mic is currently on input two, I'm just gonna go ahead and select input two for that. After you've assigned your input, if you want to adjust any of the settings on the track, then you need to actually go ahead and arm it. So uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, let's just close that. I'm gonna go ahead and record arm this track. So down here at the bottom, you see we got the record, we got input monitoring, we got solo and mute. Now record, obviously it's gonna record arm your track, it's gonna allow you to uh, get ready to record. And then we have the input monitoring, which basically allows you to monitor this track without putting it in record arm and solo mutes every other track mute solos what mute it just take this one out <laughs> so i'm gonna mute this track but i'm going to go ahead and record arm it so that we can make some adjustments to our unison technology so over in my console app i'm using this i already am using the neve 1073 and i already have the uh, distressor as a um uh, a record in effect right so whenever i record i pretty much just use that especially for these voiceovers and stuff like that um so i just all i did was assign the appropriate input and i i haven't opened this yet and it already knows that it already has everything set anything that you have in the recording effects will be printed onto your recording so if you are not very good with this make sure y'all do not just be slapping a compressor on here and compressing the hell out of your signal because you can't get it back now it's fine it's to bring it down here to the regular inserts anything that you have here will just be monitoring only so 
that's a much safer way to work. Um, and again, by using this ARM technology, it's going to be pretty much zero latency. So we don't have to worry about that really. Um, yeah, so you can actually just use your compressors and stuff as a regular insert, or you can print it to the track if you really like that effect. But you see, we got all the controls here and this little left side allows us to show and hide different parts. So let's say I didn't want to see my sins right now. I could click to show and hide those or the cues or whatever, or you can go and see what parts you want to see. So you can configure this window however you need to. And you can just scroll up and down at this top part. So you see I'm scrolling up and down and I can see all of my inserts, my sins. Um, this is my Unison technology stuff. This is the part that again, uh, takes the place of the console app. So I don't need that. Um, now tape, ooh, this is where you can add some tape. If you uh, have the Studer, you need to go ahead and license that. If you wanna use that, the Oxide one is free, so I could uh, just assign that there. Uh, but if I wanted the Studer, I would need to uh, license that, but I ain't gonna do that right now. But I probably will do it as soon as this video is over. The Studer plugin, I have that one, but apparently it ain't the same license because it's not a plugin, it is an extension of Luna. So thanks guys, thanks. All right, so it seems like we got everything set and we should be ready to start recording. I'm just gonna keep that in mute cause I ain't really uh, recording nothing, but and hit my command equal to get back over to my edit window. Well, not the edit window, the timeline view. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is my track. Oh, I gotta scroll up. There's the current track that we're working on. So to start recording in Luna, it's very similar to uh, Pro Tools. I wonder if this one shortcut will work. Number three, I love that one. Ah, it does work. Cool. So if you hit three on a numeric keypad, that'll work. You could also hit command space bar. That will start the recording as well in Luna, just like Pro Tools. So again, a lot of the Pro Tools shortcuts that you guys are already used to will work in Luna, which will save you a whole bunch of time when you are switching over to this new beautiful dog. Cool. So uh, there we have that. And as you see, um, here's that kind of integrated tool systems where at the top half it works just like a, uh, a selector tool the bottom half is going to be kind of that grabber tool if you go to the corners you got the trim tool uh, 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 where does that i guess i need to zoom in using t hmm oh maybe where, where you got to be to get that trim? okay there we go so it's got to be the bottom half uh to get the trim tool and at the top half what? what okay and if you go to that top corner you can create a, a fade by dragging in just like that so this works pretty much exactly like the smart tool and pro tools so if you know how that works then you will know how to edit here in luna so again let me just go over this and get you uh, uh one more time top half of a clip allow you to select sections of that clip the bottom half you can select the whole clip and move it and drag it uh if you go to the looks like the center of the clip at the beginning or end this will give you a trim tool so you can trim and modify the boundaries of the clip and if you go up to the top corner of a clip this is going to allow you to extend the fade into that clip one more thing before we get out of here if you're used to um the playlist and feature in pro tools which i always use um luna has introduced another feature it's very similar to that called versions all right now with versions all you have to do is just click on this little versions button and if you want a new playlist on this track that we're currently working on i hit plus and boom without creating a new track i can just record a whole new version of whatever it is on this track right here just start recording blah 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 blah, blah stop that and then i can always jump back and forth between my different versions to see which one is the best so that's going to come very handy for editing comping and stuff like that and when you're done with the versions you can just click that little button to show and hide that so cool man so cool oh yeah <laughs> and one more thing <laughs> and another thing let's check out uh punching in so that often we want to punch in kind of do it line by line so if you just start recording you can easily punch in and punch out and punch in and punch out just like you would in pro tools by using you know numeric three or command space bar thanks for taking the time to check out luna the new recording system from universal audio this is an exciting new addition to my studio and i know it's going to be exciting to yours and again did i mention that this thing is free if you already have a apollo interface then it's free go to uaudio.com right now 
download it and get to working man thumbs up like this video and to let me know in the comments if you want to keep seeing some more lunar tutorials from your boy wavy wayne thanks for watching and if you need some templates especially some lunar templates i don't got them up just yet but they coming real soon all right um <laughs> thanks for watching this video be sure to like thumbs comment all that stuff man but most importantly be dope i gotta go